Who needs sound effects when you can make your own? Does the toilet really have to run as soon as I sit down to film this? Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, since I've been stuck inside, uh, it's kind of led to me doing a lot of window shopping online, and so I ended up ordering some stuff. Some of the stuff I had ordered back when I was in Toronto, and I, had brought it, I just brought it with me, and then other stuff I ordered while I was here because I realized I didn't have enough sweats. <laughs> so I have a few affordable sweats to show you guys, as well as some spring clothing, but I know everyone's probably here to see the sweats because we're all stuck inside and sweats are life right now. I know a lot of people are laid off right now. I am one of the people that is temporarily laid off and like, I know a lot of people don't have money at the moment to be spending on stuff. So I'm not making this video to be like, buy this, buy that. I understand how like stressful all of this is right now. And I really like watching haul videos. Hopefully this video just like distracts you from the current situation going on. And hopefully gives you some affordable ideas if you are looking to do a little shopping. You don't have any loungewear to wear like I did and you don't want to spend a lot of money on it. So you want to get some affordable loungewear. Hopefully this video inspires you and gives you some ideas. I really don't want to be making this video making people feel like, oh shit, I don't have money to spend all this stuff, this bitch is buying all this fucking clothing and shoving it in my face. No. I bought the majority of the stuff when I still had a job and I wasn't laid off and I had the extra money to wing and spend on these like Instagram more expensive brands. Um, and now I don't have one, so... <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna start with the sweat since that's what everyone wants to see. I'm not gonna make you wait till the end. First one I'm gonna talk about is the one I'm wearing right now, which is not technically a set, but I kind of made it a set. Pretty sure it was a different pair of biker shorts that went with it, but I couldn't find them. They were sold out or something. So this sweater I'm currently wearing right now is from Forever 21. I'm gonna link everything down below that's still available. I'm pretty sure all of these sweats are still available, unless they're sold out because I just bought them like two weeks ago. So they should still be in stock. I'm actually trying to branch into some colors, which is why I bought a whole bunch of colorful stuff. This sweater is decently cropped on me. I'm also very short. If you have uh, any resemblance of a torso, it's probably gonna be much more cropped on you. It's still pretty cropped on me. This top is super soft. I really like how it has like these balloony kind of sleeves. And then I got these biker shorts to go with it. Again, branching out, <laughs> but they're also a purple. They're pretty similar to the color, a little bit lighter than the sweater, which is totally fine. These biker shorts are a cotton material and they remind me of airy ones. I got these on a medium because I really didn't want super sausage legs like I thought they were gonna give me. Medium works, <laughs> so. I really like these. They have kind of like a faded free people kind of look to them. All the sweats I bought are from Forever 21 solely because they were so inexpensive and I was super curious because Urban Outfitters had a version of the sweat set that I really wanted but it was going to cost upward of like a hundred dollars. This is the set I'm talking about which now that I ordered it and have it here I don't think is a set either because the colors are slightly off. So I don't know if there was ever a sweater that was supposed to match this, but again, I tried to make a set out of it. This is the top I got it in a medium. I wanted it oversized, but I also knew that I have no torso, so if I got it in a large, it would probably be too long. I'm not a huge fan of, like, the neck, like, how tight it is. I wish it was kind of, like, a looser crew neck style, but it's more of, like, a high neck. Again, it has that, like, faded look that's in. I got these in a small. I think they, people said that they were oversized. I love the fact that the waist is just really thick elastic. And it has pockets, which is something I really wanted in a pair of joggers. The detail that I like really wanted on the joggers were the cuffs on the ankles, which I feel like is so hard to find for some reason. And only like extremely expensive brands have these or they're like completely sold out everywhere. Pretty sure these come in like different colors, but I wanted the pink. I love it. It's a pretty good affordable dupe for the Urban Outfitters set that's in like a similar kind of color, but it's embroidered, which is kind of the only difference. I didn't bring any t-shirts with me even though I just bought a oversized t-shirt from Urban Outfitters a couple months ago and I haven't been able to wear it yet because it's been winter in Toronto. Now that I'm here in Florida I could have worn it but I didn't bring it because I didn't want to overpack. So yeah. <laughs> Buying stuff because I'm still here and I have nothing to wear. <laughs> I ended up getting this from Forever 21, which is, again, a pretty good dupe. Honestly, in a very similar material, it's a little bit thinner, which I appreciate because the Urban Outfitter ones were pretty thick. And this one is in like a faded pink color. It has embroidery on the top here, which says La Vie est Belle, which I'm pretty sure means life is beautiful in French. I like six years of French and don't know much of it, so don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Got this one in a large, again, I wanted it like super oversized. Matches really well with that set if I want to wear the joggers with that on top. Or it looks cute with jeans. Okay, good item to mix and match. Another cheaper item that I got from Forever 21 is this little tank top. I could have honestly gotten it in a small, but I didn't want it to be like too, too tight. So I got it in a medium, but again, I'm really bad at picking my sizes. Could have got a small bit. Either way, a white cropped wife beater kind of idea. 
and I really like this because it does have like the ribbing here and here and more like high-end looking and it's also surprisingly not very see-through which is great because it's a thicker material you can like tie it up in the front or you could tuck it in the last like sweat item that I bought this I bought a couple months ago. I really, really wanted one. Lily was wanting one of these, so I went and splurged on it. It is one of these Free People tank tops. This isn't cheap by any means. It's decently expensive considering it's kind of like a bralette tank top situation here, but I got it in the pink color. I'll link it down below. They always have these in stock. I got this in the extra small small. I have like double Ds and I thought an extra small would never fit, but it's actually very oversized. This would not work as a workout top, whereas I see a lot of like Instagrammers and stuff who are smaller chested wearing these as workout tops. I started to like do like light workout stuff, like maybe yoga mat stuff, but like to run or jog or anything like that, I would not recommend this at all. It definitely doesn't have that kind of support. So that's all the sweats that I got. Shit ton of spring stuff that I originally bought for photos from like Sabo skirt and lack of color and um, where else did I buy stuff from? Oh, Lux clothing, like all these like Instagram brands. And now we can't really go out and travel and stuff. So I just have all these clothes for no reason at the moment. So let me just haul them for you and give them a purpose. One thing I really like from Forever 21 is their jewelry. I had some of their necklaces for like a year and a half and they did start tarnishing obviously because they're not real gold or anything. But they actually last a quite a long time and again they're like super cheap. They're like five bucks, eight bucks, maybe ten bucks. So I wanted to get some like knockoffs of these kind of like gold chains and stuff. The one I'm wearing right now, this K necklace is actually gold. It was expensive. I got it for myself for Christmas. I ended up getting some little chains which I thought were cute to just like stack and layer because I don't really have anything besides this necklace. I wanted to actually get real gold but it's not affordable at the moment for me to get real gold. Right. Uh, what do I have on hand? Let's show you this stuff. I have been obsessed with these sweaters and I see them all over like Verge Girl and ASOS and like more expensive brands. So I found this one, which is honestly decent material. I honestly would expect the same kind of material from one of those sites anyways. I really don't think they have like the best materials, um, even though they're more expensive. I know I find this orange one at Forever 21 and it's one of those like super cropped um, cinched sweaters with like balloon sleeves. I love the pop of color. It's something different that I normally wouldn't buy and again it's a more affordable version of other ones that people buy that I wouldn't spend money on. And I'm also getting one of these super oversized white like beachy men's shirts at Aerie. I got it in an extra large because I wanted it super super oversized and Corey actually thought this was his shirt because it is that big. The shirt is so thick and I like that it has the like worn details on it which are super trendy and in. I like wearing this like bathing suits and stuff for photos or if you want to wear it over like a tank top and like tuck it into some jeans or just wear like around your arms. Really good like accessory kind of and a way to layer your outfits which is fun. It is hot in here. Like my feet are sweating on the bed. <laughs> I don't want to turn on the fan though because it's super loud and you hear like <laughs> I think we can jump over too. I'm just gonna pick this up with my feet so I don't have to go off camera. I was started doing some research because I was like where are all these Instagrammers getting all these cute clothes? And I realized that like my favorite kind of style is like an Australian style clothing if that's a thing but really fell in love with this one website this one brand called Sabo Skirt and I wanted to buy their whole site. Like, it was bad. Like, I wanted every item, but their shit is so expensive <laughs> that I had to stop myself. And I ended up only buying two sets. And I decided, well, I'm not relevant anymore and I can actually afford Sabo Skirt, I will buy their whole site. And I would probably just do exclusively Sabo Skirt <laughs> hauls. But I just love their stuff that much. Like, it's just so me. First set I ended up getting is Polka Dot Pants Set. That's for a really light material. They're fine to wear with like a white or nude underwear. I probably wouldn't wear them with like a colored underwear. You definitely see through them. And then there was two different tops you could choose from. I ended up choosing this one just because I like the sleeves on it. I thought they were different and I thought it'd be cool for a photo. But you could wear it off the shoulder or you could wear it like on your shoulders. And it's just like a little tube top in the middle um, with some ruching and stuff. It has a really nice zipper on the back or again this is like an online store it's not like something you can try on in person and it's coming all the way from australia so i kind of went out on a limb and ordered both of them in a small from looking at their like dimensions and stuff of the clothing and surprisingly they fit me perfectly if i had gotten a medium they would have been way too big and then the other set 
My ass is sweating on this bed right now. They have a memory foam mattress in this Airbnb and Man, I'm telling you, I am all sorts of sweaty in places that I shouldn't be. This one is a skirt set, and I still have a tag on this because I haven't really worn it yet. So this is the Liberty skirt. I got it in a small desk with this set, and I just have this vision in my head of, like, a picture I want to take in it, but I obviously can't yet. Um, but it is an eyelet lace skirt. This is just bringing me back to, like, when I was a teenager, and that's all I would wear was, like, lacy cute things. And this is the top... I don't even know how you describe this top. It's like a tie front, but it's a faux tie front. And then it has, again, these like sleeves that are ballooned and you could wear it off the shoulder or on your shoulders. You could also even wear it backwards and then have the tie in the back. The model was wearing it both ways, which is where I got some ideas for some photos that I want to take. It's white lace, so I probably wouldn't wear like colorful underwear under it. And I ended up getting these in sizes. Small, and I think this was also small. Yeah, small. So I got them both in small again. Yeah. All of these over here. Put them on my lap. <laughs> these on hangers because everything was hung up. This might be easier to show you. But this is a dress that I got from Lux Clothing. From what I've gathered from ordering from them, they have different brands that they sell under the label of Lux Clothing. Let me just tell you guys, <laughs> when I ordered all the stuff to Toronto, I had to pay insane, insane border fees and customs fees, whatever you want to call them. To get these things on top of shipping. The Lux clothing items that I bought that were coming from LA were more expensive after the shipping and the border fees than the items I got from Savo Skirt that I ordered from Australia. Not sure how that makes sense. Something I ordered from LA was more expensive than Australia, but it was. I don't understand. But I ended up getting one of these dresses, super trending popular on Instagram. Again, wanted to take a cool picture in it. Again, can't right now. This is definitely something that's out of my comfort zone and that I would never order. I'm not comfortable usually wearing like very fitted dresses and this is very fitted. Zipper down the side so it's fairly simple to get on and it fits me very well. It ties up the front which are trendy and cool. Yeah this one is from the brand Cotton Candy LA through Lux Clothing and I got it in a small. Still have the tags on them all because I haven't worn them yet. Yeah um, this is a skirt I ended up getting. It's pretty much the only skirt that I own nowadays and I thought it'd be really cool for like a beachy kind of photo. It kind of looks like a sarong and it's in this bright orange color. It also has a zipper on the back, makes it easier to get on. This one I ended up getting in a small and I honestly probably could have gotten in a medium maybe. It's very tight on the top. The brand of the skirt is Emery Park through Lux Clothing. The last and final dress I got from there is this one from Dress Forum, Los Angeles. I got this in a medium because it was all that was available. Could have got a small in it. Super long silk dresses that everyone wears on the beach. And also I thought it'd be really cute to wear on a beach photo. I ended up getting a beach photo in it like last second. This little photo right there, I think it's super cool. I'll show you guys these because if you're looking for like an affordable jean option, I don't know how many people are wearing jeans right now considering sweatpants are a much better option when you're inside all the time. But <laughs> these are my favorite jeans they're from zara i have like a passion for zara jeans because they remind me of like vintage levi's or any of the expensive brands that people are buying that are like non-stretchy zara has very affordable ones i think these were probably about 45 dollars these are light wash mom jeans but yeah i got these in a six if you're looking for size and i really like the light wash then i ended up getting these colutes they're slightly darker wash. I only really like light wash jeans, so these are maybe like a light to medium wash. So they have super wide legs and then they're cropped at the bottom and frayed and distressed. I like the fact that there's like no distressing on them throughout, just they're very like simple. Yeah, I think that's all of the clothes I have bought. I'm gonna show you all of the accessories that I bought because they're so cute. Again, I was trying to find knockoffs of things again and everyone is obsessed with these like square toed kind of shoes. I found these on H&M. They're a much more reasonable price than any other square toed white sandaly heel situation. I ended up finding these. They're pretty good dupe. They're not really that comfortable. They're more of like a wear to like dinner or something than like wear to walk around kind of shoe. So I wouldn't really recommend those if you're going to be walking around anywhere which most people aren't because we're all stuck in our houses. <laughs> Baddie sunglasses that I wanted to get from Sabo Skirt. I thought they'd be cool for a photo. I don't know how fun they'd be to wear like just out and about if they actually protect your eyes from the sun, but for an Instagram photo. <laughs> you guys, my pride and joy next. This is something that I've wanted for a long time now and I just didn't put the money into it, but I decided, you know, I'm gonna treat myself for Christmas 
and I got myself a lack of color hat. I'm not gonna lie, it's an expensive hat. I'm gonna show you what kind of dupe for one of their hats. I do have some other ones from like Urban Outfitters and stuff that are way more affordable. I just kind of found another hat that was a kind of white or beige color that had some ribbon on it that I just thought was cute. I got this one in a medium. I just like the construction of it. I think it's really well made. Again, Urban Outfitter ones are also pretty well made if you wanna go something cheaper but they don't have the kind of detailing that I was looking for. There's a lot more other lack of color hats that I want to buy, but I'm not going to spend the money on those right now. So I ended up finding this one at Forever 21, which was way cheaper. It's definitely not the material and quality of what the lack of color hat would be, but for photos or just like wearing around, no one's going to be like touching the hat. It definitely is a pretty good dupe. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good dupe if you want it for photos or if you don't care about the quality. I think it still looks really cute and it's definitely way cheaper than one of their hats. Last but not least is this ASOS package that I ordered with two accessories in it. I still haven't opened it because I just got it yesterday. Thought I would wait. This is so cute. Okay, this is one of those like 90s shoulder bags and I wanted it primarily for photos, if I'm being honest, but I actually really like this. This is really cute. Look at the straps thick on it, it feels like good quality. If you're looking for like a 90s style little shoulder bag, you know, ASOS has them in a whole bunch of different colors. I wanted the blue one just because I already have a pink purse, but I probably would have ordered it in pink if not. I know they have a brown one right now that I could also link down below that's super on sale right now. It might be like 12 bucks or something. This one was about 30. Okay, I've been sitting here talking so long that I ran out of space on my cart already. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I was trying to say. The last item I ordered um, are these shoes. So we need to try these on and see if they even fit me. I ordered these because all I have to wear here are my Fila running shoes and I'm kind of getting tired of wearing those with like jeans and stuff. And if we go for a walk or go to the grocery store, I don't always want to wear those if I want to feel like a little more dressed up because I'm wearing sweats all day. And as I said, those little heels I bought are super uncomfortable to walk around. So I got these because they were very on sale. They're the ASOS brand. I don't even know what brand this is. I'm pretty sure this is also ASOS brand. I don't even, what do you call these? Like wedge platform shoes? I don't know if they're gonna end up rubbing on my toes. That'll come when I walk around a grocery store in them. Overall, pretty cute. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've probably stared at the viewfinder the entire time because I am a fucking noob, apparently, and I don't know how to felt. <laughs> if you are looking to buy some more sweats that's inspired you a little bit and, uh, Go follow me on TikTok because I've been dedicated all my time to TikTok. You know, I'm one of those millennials that hated TikTok and then I just, you know, realized now they've been stuck inside all the time that, you know what, it's kind of fun. <laughs> I um, take back all of my statements about how trash TikTok is. So yeah, go follow me on TikTok and my Instagram. I have a link down below. There are two things that I post on the most. Let me know any videos that you guys want to see if you like this types of videos. If you guys are healthy and you're making the most of your quarantine, whether that be watching every TV show movie on Netflix or being productive and working from home and starting a new business for yourself, have at it. Do what you want to do. Don't give a fuck about what other people say. So yeah, peace out. I like those cool TikTok transitions. Just be like... Whew.